Hello everybody and welcome! This is Super Dungeon Run. Technically this game is still in early access, was released yesterday on Steam. Uh, it does appear to be fairly polished. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Welcome to Super Dungeon Run. In this game you'll guide a party of hapless heroes on a quest for loot in the depths of a dark and dangerous dungeon. You always start off with a small group of peasants. Here they are, the little scamps. The peasants are, how shall I put this, the smartest of individuals, but they're a merry bunch and are always eager to please. They like nothing better than a good dungeon run, but sadly, they're not very good at it. Okay, it says I can use the mouse. Left mouse button. Alright, so here's our peasants. This is mouse guided. And it uh, looks like they basically just follow the group. All for one, one for all. Okay, we've got an iron door there. Can bust through the wood doors, no problem. Uh, and this must be a catch. Yeah, iron door open. Ah, uh, right back here, I see it. And there's another catch. That opens up the other door. Pick up the rest of our gold here. Run, run, run! Alright, more gold, more gold. Hey, here we go. Picking up all kinds of gold. So we've got five peasants and a warrior. Ah, we did complete the floor. So this is basically the very beginning, like the uh, tutorial levels. I uh, got a gold! 13 gold collected, time fast. I uh, got another warrior for that. I assume that's an upgrade to one of my peasants. Yep, two warriors, four peasants. Got it. What's in the chest? Okay, got some healing potions. Can only carry three. So I guess it uses the other potions we pick up uh, immediately. It's kind of cute. It's like uh, they're bound together, but when they're close to something, they act uh, independently. Oh, go back for the gold. There we go. Oh, fire pits. That's not good. Oh, I think I took a little damage here. I made it to the end of the floor. Hey, another gold. Hey, completed. A little side quest completed. So the little side quests are like accomplishments in the game. You just accomplish them for uh, through normal play. Oh, that's a nasty little trap. Here, pick up this gold. Don't get hit. Pick up that gold. Oh shit. Fire trap. That's nasty. Our first bit of combat there. I think I'm going to use a health potion. There we go. Hey, room clear. 30 gold. Well, that's nice. I don't know if that's a log or what that's supposed to be. Yeah, those traps are nasty. Ow! My warrior took a hit from that arrow. The arrows do good damage, but I don't fear them as much as the uh, those fire traps. They can just wipe out an entire party. And oh, got another log roll or whatever that's supposed to be. Floor complete. Too slow. I got a right on the nose. I still got a bonus, so I don't know. Is that supposed to be mulch, maybe? All right, completed that side quest. Okay. Stay out of the fire, man. Oh, watch out for those things. 
We try to get this gold. Those things do damage. They also throw you across the room, so you need to be really careful with those. Thank you for getting the gold. Appreciate that. All right. Let's go. Whoa! We got a cannonball. Ouch. Stay away from the cannon. Little mage there. Gonna destroy the mages. They're ranged attackers. They can get you. Fire pit. Ah, little skeleton warriors there. Boy, that's a tough little skeleton, too. He's taking some damage. There we go. Hey, we gotta level up. Watch out for the fire pits. Better use my potion here. The next next chance I get. Yeah, I'll use it now. Archers! So they've got archers. I've got warriors. Taking a little damage. This is really a light-hearted uh, kind of dungeon crawl. Not to be, not to be taken seriously. Whoa! Don't forget this guy. There we go. Fire pits. I want to watch out for those fire pits. Those are pretty nasty. This fire is just bad. Hey, that's it. End of the floor. Okay, I still got a gem. Didn't get a fast time, but I got a gem. A couple of healing potions. I appreciate that. More enemies. My, ooh, one of my guys died. One of my warriors. Gotta watch that. Come on, finish that guy off, would you? Alright, I got another warrior. Of course, I didn't have any peasants, so... Doesn't really count. That's the end. I missed the rest of the floor, though. So I got a time bonus. No, I didn't get the time bonus. Okay, I'm too slow. What's in the chest? Okay, we got more potions in the chest. Oh, we got some wood. Got plenty of healing potions. Oh, lots of enemies here. Watch the hell. Side close was used five potions. Yeah, I used all my healing potions on this. This is a tough battle. There we go. We got past it. Whoa, cannon. I mean, they are just cannon fodder, I suppose, but... Ah, oh, the cannon got one of my guys. Hey, there's another peasant. I'll pick him up. Come on, guys. Pick up the gold. What's down the hall? Here we go. Hey, we got more peasants. Two prisoners in one session. Another side quest. All right. So I got an iron bar and some gold. Okay, a couple of potions. Got another iron bar. More combat. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. Oh, somebody ran into the freaking saw. Oh, watch out! Floor trap. Well, this is not going well. 
One more potion. Oh no, that's it. Oh, we're outnumbered. This doesn't look good. It's going down. Oh, the mage just killed off my warrior. So I got one guy left against an archer and a mage and a cannonball. Oh, he's done. He's pretty much done. Defeat. Got our first level that unlocks the archer. The skillful archers can attack from a distance, firing arrows quickly to stay safe from harm. And halfway to level two, almost. Okay, now I'm not going to read all this, but this brings us to the village. And this is a nice little cartoony type picture. There's a bunch of our resources across the top. So I got three piles of wood. Four. I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Hay. Grass. Parchment. No idea, but we need it. And iron bars. We got the, uh, the gem. And a total of six peasants to take on our next adventure. Now, we've got the dungeon here. Our main quest, we have the Produce Pummel unlocked. Pesky Rablins, they stole my prize marrow. I need it back before the county show. So we do a select quest. And this shows us the rewards. 500 experience, 1500 gold, etc, etc. Um, what will happen now is instead of just dungeon delving until we die, we'll actually dungeon delve until we get to the dungeon where this quest is at and then once we finish the quest we end the dungeon then we've got side quests which we really don't have any control over the side quests are just things in the game that uh, basically these are, your, these are your accomplishments now for our party we have two skill points I think I'm gonna upgrade the party size so we'll go to eight peasants and increase my hero training so that'll increase the toughness of my peasants and warriors. I'll go back a little bit. Uh, starting floor, this basically allows you to skip dungeon levels. So instead of starting at you know dungeon level one and having to go to dungeon level ten, uh, you could start at dungeon level two or three instead, where there'll be more treasure. And then quest bonus, extra bonuses and quests. Go ahead and lock that in. Now that we also got access to a market. Now here's what uh, the the current uh, tab here is outfits. This allows us to get different types of guys. So of course we start off with the peasants. We all start off uh, with a warrior uh, during the training missions. We just unlock the archer. It's going to cost me a thousand gold to actually make use of the archer. At level 6, we can get access to sorcerers, the knights, snipers, grenadiers. Now, items in the game. We currently have the health potion unlocked, and of course, there's uh, strength, agility, and defense potions that you can use inside the dungeon. And then we have a whole crafting menu. Uh, some of these based on level. Well, I mean, they're all based on level, but um, upgrades to our potions to start with. We've got upgrades to our peasants, and just on and on. Upgrades to warriors, the archers, the sorcerers, etc., etc. Can all these can all be crafted. So this makes this game a uh, little bit interesting. As you go, you'll gain levels, you'll gain resources, and uh, you can upgrade your peasants. A lot of fun. Well, guys, well. Uh, Hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.